Hello and welcome back to a kooky corner of YouTube. Uh, today, yes, it's that day again. It's scroller bug day. Yay! Okay, I'm not going to hang around because I would like to see what's in this box. So let's open it up. See if we can get it off in one like Johnny from Just Johnny Creations. He's always very good at this. Oh, yeah. Yes, excellent. Off in one. Right, let's flip it over. Open it up. Ooh, it looks very interesting already. I'm liking this. <laughs> let's take out the bits. And oh, I like the inside of the box. That's really cool. I'm liking that. Create something with only the items inside this box. Share your creations with us. A scroller box is a monthly subscription box that um, comes every month and it contains mystery supplies for you to try. Uh, some of the things you may have seen before, uh, some of them you may not have, but whichever way you always get um, something to prompt your uh, mind and 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 a prompt to work to so oh okay stickery sticker open it up oh what do we got what we got what we got oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> i love the sticker that's awesome i'm really loving that sweetie a sour bubblegum watermelon flavored mm. <laughs> Oh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> Ooh, it's a watercolour set and it's by Viviva. Oh, now. It seems to have come unstuck. Maybe I could stick my back down, but eh. <gasps> Ooh, this watercolour set belongs to you. Oh, ooh mixing colors on that side and we've got a little swatch sheet here <gasps> now these are cool some it's um some watercolor paints in a cork base i want to say it's cork it is cork definitely is cork <gasps> so cool <laughs> and some somewhere to mix your colors there okay so the watercolor set is the biggie i kind of want to make kind of want to mend this <laughs> and if I don't do it now I'll never get around to it let's drop it on the floor first shall we drop it on the floor I've only got a shot on my head there but hey <laughs> right here we go Put some sticky badicky glue on that side and going in going in with the stickies yeah Maybe just a little bit further there. All done. Mended. <laughs> that would have annoyed me otherwise. I needed to get that on there. Make sure it still fits. Yes, it does. Cool. Okay, pop that to one side now. That's my issue over with. <laughs> Right, so we have got a scroller box brush. It's a number eight. It looks like an angled brush, flat, an angled flat brush. And we've got a Pit Artist Pen Fine Liner in black 199. And this is the print. I think it's the print. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just a postcard. <gasps> it's just a postcard. How cool is that? I like this. I'm liking this a lot. <laughs> I like the guinea pig adventurer and the tutti bird. <laughs> oh, this this is way up my alleyway. I like the cute mushrooms here. Don't give up. Nearly there. Oh, much too big for climb. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> Want to go home. That's generally me. <laughs> oh. That's glorious. Okay, so we've got our supplies. Um, at the minute, I'm well happy with those. 
Uh, let's have a look at the substrate we've got and looking at it, it looks like it's watercolour paper. It is indeed. And we've got eight sheets of A5 watercolour paper of 119 GSM. So let's have a look. So it's quite a thin watercolour paper. It's not a thick 300 GSM, but it's still thick enough. That's great. Let's pop that to one side. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here's the print. I love this. Who's this by? Uh, make sure you can all see that. Oh, it looks like Baba Yaga's hot because it's the hot on chicken legs. And we've got a broomstick there, I believe, with a cat on the back. He's off. <laughs> I love him. He's wearing goggles. Yes. This is what I aspire to be. <laughs> So this is by Steph Pardo. Steph Pardo is an illustrator and potter from the UK whose love is telling stories through creating wonderful art. Her work often seems to find itself woven together by the magic and wonder of fantasy tabletop games. This is definitely up my street. I'm not going to read all of this out to you, but if you get this, uh, those are the socials there, right at the bottom. So you've got the website, Instagram, Patreon and Kofi of Trinkety. Okay, so let's have a look at our zine. Open it up. So, ooh, didn't see a, didn't see a box, or maybe ah, no, I didn't see a thing with the. Uh, hmm, I left it in the box. Yeah, I was looking for the little cheat sheet that you get with all the in, all the things on it, but I can't see that anywhere. Never mind, we'll just go straight to the zine. So we've got the um, beautiful Viviva palette contains eight hand-picked colours by us just for you. Okay, cool. So we'll swatch those out in a while. Um, rich paint pigments, 100% vegan, 100% recycled cork, 100% biodegradable. Nice, nice, nice. We've got draw line with the pen. Uh, we know that, well, I, I know that pit artist pens are with India ink, but you probably didn't. So they, they do contain India ink, which is great for drawing on and painting over. We have the artist print. We've got the surface to work on. We've got the Sweetie Treaty and we've got the angled brush. You can switch between thick and thin lines while painting. So that's brilliant. Okay. Obviously our sticker. So the artist Stephanie Pardo, I definitely want to look into her work. Um, I'm going to have a read of this later with a, with a cup of tea. Scrawler tips on how to work with this. And I've got behind the artwork and the palette doesn't come with yellow which can make it have differences in shade and tone difficult so try mixing colors with a small amount of orange okay fine interesting scroller gallery rachel oh my gosh we've got rachel there rachel britain excellent oh lovely to see you there how cool is that fabulous i'm just looking to see if there's anybody else that popped out at me straight away i know rachel's work that is i've got a piece of that myself <laughs> um can't see any other names there uh, top three so we've got chloe mayhew tress trimarco and catherine khan davies these are beautiful definitely going to look at these people's work uh, really cool and then we've got Invaders of the Lost Art. So, ah, right. No supply menu. This is explaining it. It's not missing. We've decided to remove the separate printed menu and, and challenge card from the boxes to save paper and include them in the zine. Yeah, it's all well and good, but we don't get the recommended prices anymore. Kind of sad. I wonder if that could be altered to put on the front sheet. I don't know whether that's a possibility. So I do like to know vaguely how much the recommended retail price of each thing is and I'm sure a lot of other people do too anyway 
uh, inspired by this month's featured artist, a fellow scrawler who has completed challenge after challenge to bring you this quest. Are you a hero or a villain? Mm, I could be a villain. Uh, the sidekick or the antagonist? I could be a villain sidekick. <laughs> The mission, if you choose to accept, is to pick your player and paint their story to life. Well, this sounds blooming awesome. Looking forward to this already. Um, sorry if you're getting weird patches of sunlight on the top of this recording, but I had to do it straight away because I literally ran in here with the box and, and grabbed my camera. Um, <clears throat> oh, wow. Super cool. Yeah, I'm just a little bit disappointed by that, but hey. I was checking to make sure there aren't any recommended retail prices. No, there aren't. No. Right. Okay. Let's have a little go with the supplies. So I'm going to do it on the back of one of the pieces I'll probably work on. Let's see how it works and also swatch out on the swatchy sheet as well. Okie dokie. And maybe we should just use the paintbrush that was provided in the interests of using all the paintbrushes. Oh. Okay, let me rinse it out a bit, make sure it's not got any stuff on it. Okay, so I'm going to do it on both sides. So we've got cinnamon is the first one. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice fleshy colour. Lovely. Let's, let's try it down here. Yes, I'm liking this. Let's see how it thins out. Lovely. Let's add a bit more pigment into this side so we can get the full effect. Then Rinsey rinse. I'm going to grab my rag, clean my brush. We have mango. Oh, I, am, I have to say, I am liking this colour already. So, oh, I seem to have got contamination there. How, how did that happen? Let's, let's try and see if we can get out of that. Yeah, it's okay. Right, mango, mango. Still got some on the end of that brush. Don't know where it came from. It's probably from my desk somewhere along the line. Let's water this down. Okay, mango's nice. I like mango. That's cool. Let's take some of that out. Some of that out, I'll add some of that in. <laughs> I'm doing my swatches weirdly today. I don't know what's the matter with me. Okay, the next one is opera. Oh, I'm, I'm so hoping this is an opera pink. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yes. Indeed it is. Look at that. That's a lovely. I'm going to do it down here. I've got you in camera, yes I do. So I'm making sure I've got you in shot. Uh, thicker, thicker, now. And water it down a bit. Ooh, that's a nice, bright and vibrant colour. I love that. I do love an opera pink. The only trouble is a lot of opera pinks are fugitive, but you know, I like a bit of fugitive. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay. Get myself comfy. So I ran in here like a mad thing. Clean off my brush. So the next one is Alizarin Crimson, another one of my favourites. These are all good colours for me. Loving the colours. Let me push that there out. Nice. And then Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Colours are beautiful, I have to say. 
Next one is Viridian. Viridian is a very good mixing colour, so I'm glad they've got this one in here. It's cool. So let's have a Viridian moment. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's really nice. Let's take it out there, this end. Lovely. Uh, paper is buckling, but I suppose if I taped it down, that would be not so much of a problem for me. Being the impulsive person I am, <laughs> couldn't wait. So you get it as is. Next one. Ooh, I didn't put it on my little sheet. I ought to put it on my little cheat sheet up there, didn't I? Little swatchy mogotchi. And then we've got a deep blue. What kind of a blue is this? Let's put it on here. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. It's kind of an... Oh, no, it's not an endanthrone. It's kind of Prussian E. Uh, so it looks like it could be a good mixer. Get some nice warm tones from these for definite. Let's take out some of that side. There we go. Take it back. And what have I missed? I've missed one. Oh no, I haven't. <laughs> violet, another one of my favourites. Let's see what kind of a violet. Oh yes, that's nice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, these are lovely. Love the colour palette. Kind of sad we haven't got a yellow though, but mm, can't have everything in life. Let's drop some more into that side and then take some out of that side. Cool. So the last one is burnt umber. Always good to have a nice burnt umber. And that one is very nice. Very nice. That's going to mix with the orange to make some cool colours. For sure. Lovely. Let's take out water of that side. Take it out. And drop a bit in at this side. For a full on effect. There we go. Right, so we've got the swatchy colours, we've got the colours we can work with. Just looking to see on oh, our sheet. Yeah, definitely no um no yellows in there. Okay, that's a try of the pen. The pen is a 0.7, so quite a thick one. So you're gonna get some nice decent lineage from that, and you can double up on it to get a nice thick thick line. And that's India ink so once that's dry that's going to be permanent you can walk the watercolour over the top of it. Well now I need to be thinking of something that I'm going to create with these so let's have another look again at the prompt. So it's Quest. Interesting. I'm loving that idea. If you fancy grabbing yourself a scrawler box or joining um, in with all the fun and getting a monthly subscription scrawler, I will leave all the details for that down in the description box so that you can have a look. And uh, yeah, you'll see me back here again um, trying to create something with these lovely supplies. I really do like the Viviva sheets I've had. So, And this looks pretty awesome and also nice enough to take out as a travel kit as well. So really happy with that. And we've got a little mixing palette there on that side. So I'm going to leave this to dry. I'm going to leave you and I'm going to have a cup of tea and read my scrawler zine. And I'll be back with something to do with these. <laughs> uh, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.